This video is part of Lesson 1 in the course Teaching God's Way. In this video, what does it mean to keep the way of the Lord? What does it mean to keep the way of the Lord? We will answer that question using a Bible study method that consists of three steps. First, we observe. Second, we interpret. And third, we apply. So we turn to Genesis 18, the first time this phrase is used in the Bible. So you will find an answer to the question, what does it mean to keep the way of the Lord? And you will learn a method to answer questions from the Bible. So first of all, we observe the text. Genesis 18, 1 through 19. What happens here? What do we find? Who are the main characters in this text? Well, we read about Abraham and three visitors. They share a meal. Sarah is somewhere in the background. We don't actually know what they are talking about during the meal all that time. But as the man turn to leave, the Lord gives a promise to Abraham. He repeats his promise that he already gave in Genesis 12. And so Abraham recognizes the Lord. The Lord says, you will become a great and mighty nation, verse 18, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. For I have chosen him that he may command his children and his household after him to keep the way of the Lord by doing righteousness and justice, so that the Lord may bring to Abraham what he has promised him. We make an observation at this text. Here we find that expression to keep the way of the Lord. And we notice it has to do with this promise of children. So Abraham, he has learned to walk in the way of God. And as he will have children, they too will need to learn to walk in the way of God. So that's our observation at this text. In the second place, we want to interpret this text. We draw conclusions from what we have read. We read that Abraham is promised to have children, a family. The Lord will give that to him. But it comes with an instruction. It is God's desire that Abraham will instruct his children to walk in the way of the Lord. What is walking in the way of the Lord? The Bible says it is doing righteousness and justice. Walk in the way means to live in the way that God wants us to live. A way of life. And this way of life, the way of the Lord, is identified with the words righteousness and justice. Doing righteousness and justice. Righteousness, we could say, has to do with what is acceptable to God, what God calls good. And justice has to do with what is good for others, what is beneficial, fair for the people around us. So for the children that come after Abraham to keep walking in that way, Abraham has to instruct them about what the righteousness of God means and what justice means. So they will continue to walk in that way. Later on, we see that the Israelites received the Ten Commandments as one way to learn what is right and just. And through instruction, through teaching, the children will keep walking in the way of the Lord. So we interpret this text and learn that this passage means it's not enough to be named the children of Abraham, but what matters is to stay on the same track, to continue to walk in the same way of the Lord, doing righteousness and justice. So in the third place, we want to apply these verses. We have made some observation, we have drawn some conclusions interpreting the text, and now we want to apply these verses to our lives. Well, first of all, we learn about God's faithfulness, because yes, he did give Abraham a son, and after that many more, and a family grew out of Abraham. 
And indeed, Abraham taught his son to walk in the way. God gave his laws, his commandments, the prophets to teach the people to walk, doing what is right and just. Also, this text makes us look to Jesus. He said in John 14, I am the way, the way to the Father, that is. So we have to follow Jesus to keep the way of the Lord in our lives, to do righteousness and justice the way Jesus did. So like Abraham's children had to walk following Abraham, so we follow Jesus walking in the way of the Lord. And he taught us righteousness and justice, not only by words, but also by his deeds. Yes, in fact, by his own life and his own death. So we learn to accept Jesus and follow Jesus as the only way to please God, to do what God approves and wants in our lives. We accept Jesus, we follow Jesus, and we present Jesus as the only way of living a life that is pleasing to God. Finally, we also have to teach others to go in the way of the Lord. That's what this course is all about, teaching God's way. Jesus said, when he returned to his Father, teach them to obey everything I have commanded you. That is why we teach in our churches. Teach what? Well, in short, teach the way of the Lord. Teach others to obey the commandments of God as they are included in the Old and New Testament. Teach them to obey the things that Jesus has said. So we will walk in the way of the Lord, following Jesus. Jesus helps us keep the way and Jesus helps us teach the way. So in summary, what does it mean to keep the way of the Lord? We observed that it is necessary that the generations after us also will continue to walk in the ways of the Lord. We interpreted the text and said, God's way means doing righteousness and justice. What God approves, what is good for others. Or in the words of Jesus, love God above all and your neighbor as yourself. And we apply this to our own lives and said, we too need to teach others to follow Jesus and obey what he has commanded us within our families, at home and in the church. You have been watching the video, what does it mean to keep the way of the Lord in the course Teaching God's Way? We hope to see you again next lesson.